Coach, first time in four years. Penn's leaving with an EIWA champ. Brian Artenzio seemed to be on his game all weekend, and it must be nice to see him get the win and get a title. Yeah, yeah. Brian, Brian, you know, had a had a great uh, weekend. Obviously, you know, wrestled really hard. Had a good game plan for every match, and um, was just very focused through the weekend. So I was real happy to see him get the win. And Micah Burek back to the finals again. Back with Cam Simas again, but. For a second there, you guys and Mike himself must have thought this was the one he was going to get him because he seemed to be on the offensive more than I've ever seen him against Cam in any of his matches. Yeah, well, that was our game plan, and, and um, you know, obviously you, know, you could make uh, you know, one mistake in the, in the second period there and, and get four points scored against you. It's pretty hard to, to come back from that. But, you know, again, as you know, we tell Mike, you know, every match we learn is something new, and you know, hopefully you know, we'll, we'll be able to correct you come into the ways in two weeks. Speaking of NCAA, as a wrestler that's heading out there that may not have been on the penciled in you know, lineup sheets earlier, was Eric Smith finishing third at 184 after being unseated. What did you see from him this weekend? Well, I saw what I what I knew his capabilities were. You know, I've been telling him all year that he should he shouldn't he should not think about not being an All-American. I mean, he has those skills. And, you know, I think probably three out of the four matches or five matches he wrestled here, he, he beat kids that beat him during the year and. And um, you know he just he, he had that mentality that was uh, that was awesome when we drew uh, Hamlin first match and he came storming back to take third. And like I said, he beat a bunch of guys that beat him during the year, and, and that's that's the Eric Smith that we recruited here that we knew had those capabilities. So real happy for him. As the team gets it set for St. Louis in a couple weeks, right now there's five qualifiers, maybe a six. Lorenzo Thomas lurking out there. What? What are you going to take to practice in the next two weeks to get the team ready to improve on these finishes in two weeks? Well, I think, you know, hopefully everybody's learned a little bit from this tournament because it really is a matter of inches. You know, one one mistake here, one mistake there, and, and you're either winning the match or losing the match. So I think we're just going to go back and correct a few things, um, you know, as far as, you know, finishing takedowns like Ke Zach Kemmerer and, uh, and his fifth-place match. You know, he's got to finish those takedowns. And, and um, you know, Steven Robertson should have been in the finals, should have finished his takedown against the American kid and not getting ridden. So, you know, we're going to correct a few things. And, and you know, I think, the, I think after this weekend, the guys are going to be um, very, very eager to get back in the game. I think they, they taste it now. They got a feeling of what they can do and their capabilities and stuff. So, um, and, uh, so we're just going to continue to, to train like we have and, and um, you know, get them ready for St. Louis.